Well, good morning, Slime Dog fan. What do we got going on today? Number one, we gotta go open the gate. Hey, bud. You ready? You ready? Come on. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? What are you doing? I think today... We are gonna go. Put the uh, batteries back in the boat. The weather is super cool. I'm loving it. I am not a fan of hot weather. I don't mind it, but it becomes really annoying when in the summer I have to literally three times at least a day change my clothes because I'm working outside and they are completely soaked in sweat. I hope that you have enjoyed the videos. I had to modify my gate here. Now I have a way to stop it. I'll put an eye right here. So that is solid. I ain't going nowhere. And I turned the pin from the ground. That way it goes horizontal and it will catch right here on that beam. So in the morning, I don't really have anywhere to put it. So in the morning, I can slide the pin back like so, and then move it all the way over. But I still have to find a way to keep the gate from going backwards, but I added some reflectors. I might go ahead and make my sign here today I'm gonna put it right here right here and then let it hang and then one more in the middle so it'll fill that gap anyhow it is a beautiful morning here at Salam Donkey TV I think Today, oh, my walnut. I want to glue up my walnut table. But first, I think I want to go get some uh, breakfast and a drink. I don't think that I showed you. Last week, I bought a chainsaw and I went and picked up some cypress beans for a sign show you here what I got going on uh, I think they are gonna be super cool come on so I went and picked these up all on my own and let me tell you that joker right there was not light at all but I have my beams cut for signs. I have the cross beam here and then I have the vertical beams here. And then I may use those for angled corners. I might go ahead and cut a notch in the tops and the sides. That way I can stack them. Cypress is quite dry. The guy said that it has been sitting for quite a few years and it looks like it may have some small thing in the wood. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the grain on that. Wow. Wow. 
Yeah, I'm a, a dork. I am amazed by wood. Come on. I went and bought a steel. I don't have to have a, a giant saw. I'm not cutting down a, uh, a giant oak tree. They had a sale. I went and picked up this thing cuts through wood like a hot knife or butter. It's so easy to use. It's light. It starts up every single time. No problems. Good old steel. My very first one. And to be honest, I couldn't be happier. I love it. Today's plan, number one, boat batteries. Number two, start working on my sign for the front entrance. Number three, the walnut table. I wanna go ahead and mount that up. Oh yeah. And before we do any of that stuff, we have a serious problem. That flag has about had it. So I went and bought a new one from the home of the pot. Make sure that flag doesn't hit the ground before we do any of that. We are putting up a glory. Here where I live on the Slam Dunk Farm, we are hardcore Americans. A lot of you may not know about me. I sing. I know you can't tell really from the way I talk, uh, but whenever I have the chance, I will sing for the USO and the veterans corps locally here uh, in the area. Uh, I'm a, a huge supporter of our armed services. So I think being able to serve those who serve us, there really is no greater honor. So. I got that. We got our stars and stripes. One more. Nope, no more. Okay. Let's see how it unfolds before I let it go. I don't want that flag hitting my ground. Or made it a little difficult to pull that arrow down. There we go. So, top stars. Here we go. There's one. Oh, 
There's two. Now we'll pull that down. Spread that, spread that baby on out. And let her fly high. America. See how she dangles. Sure is beautiful. America. America. Oh yeah. See her blowing in the wind. Oh glory. Thank you for all who have served and fought for our freedom. You will never ever know how much your sacrifice means to me. Oh, just look at her. Just look at her blowing. Okay, so, batteries. Got one here, one here. I'm gonna go get some food, chow down, and then get to work. Yep. That's what we're gonna do, y'all. You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? All right. Good boy. All right, y'all. We are back. And I am on the way into the shop with my man, man, Coda here. Right, bud? Right, bud. Okay. Okay. Because I need some E-tape, more than likely a butt splice. My wire cutters slash strippers, wherever they are, gotta find them. I grabbed some shrink wrap for the wires and I had wire strippers I got battery terminal spray for the battery terminals and I want to hook them up quick and get my boat plugged in so I'm gonna grab my let's see where can I put you here right here will that work Don't go running off on the woods. Okay, so we'll keep it simple here. So I had one set of leaves that were screwing up. And now I can't remember where they were so I thought at one point it was here but they should be okay so all right so we have our battery jumper wire that one was completely screwed so we have new ones here. I have a, a new one here that I'm gonna put on. And you'll see here how it goes. So, I'm gonna put on some spray first. Get our leaves all squared away. So, yep, I got that. Spray all the terminals here, the posts. Okay, so we got our terminals 
sprayed. Now, our number one priority is the negative to the positive here, okay? Then, we're gonna run our negative to here for the trolling motor, right? Then, we're gonna put our negative here, right? Then, that should be it for that one. So, I'll go ahead and put that one on. Okay. So, we got that one hooked up. Now, we're going to take our positive lead right here and put that under that. And then put that one down. So essentially we are running our leads for the trolling motor and I don't, I don't know if I have a wrench here. I hope so. Alright, so anyway, so we have our positive here to our negative. But jumper wire is run. Now we want bank two right here going to our negative here and then our positive here. So we're gonna put our nut here. Because I want to plug it in and if all goes according to plan we should have yellow lights for our trolling motor uh, onboard battery charger so we have that going there right so we have one more nut Before I go ahead and um, tighten it all down, I'm going to go look at the uh, battery charger and make sure that none of my connections are off. So, so far so good. Now we'll go grab our plug and give her the old test. If all goes well, they both should go on the yellow and charge and not be red because we don't want it to throw an error code. So we are good to go. We're both yellow. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and grab our wrench, tighten them all down, and put them in that little hole here. I really should get another battery tray. That one is toast. So I may go ahead and get my wrench. Tighten them down. Coda. Coda. I always have tools in my bin, but I need a wrench. One of the old Addies. So I'll grab I don't need it. 
freaking giant wrench. There we go. That'll work. So, when you go to hook up your batteries, it's really not that hard. So, yeah, we are still yellow, still got to go. So, I'm going to unplug this, tighten up my bolts, tighten up my nuts. that behind put that behind that terminal there we go we're good there okay now we'll come over here Oh, I kept my eye on that boy. So, I'll go ahead and tighten that up. I might do the same that terminal behind. I like that a whole lot better, but we'll see how it goes. And uh, I'm not going overkill tight on these because. I may have to pull them out and do it all over again. So, tie it there, tie it there. Didn't need the wire cutters, didn't need the uh, um, heat shrink. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray those again. I don't want them corroding. Figuring out how to undo that battery box holder, and uh, I think it might just be screws right here. But that is toast. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean out my mess here. Put my heat shrink in there. Throw away my garbage. Throw away my terminals and my jumper wire. That I might be able to reuse, so I'll put that on the bin. But we have our battery all hooked up. Now, I might go ahead and plug it back in and see how long it takes. Y'all, I cannot wait to get out on the water have an itch. So, I'll plug her in. And we are yellow and good to go. I, I had a, a feeling the uh, batteries were um, toast because when I went out to uh, that lake with Josh, um, my battery, my motor was on five and it was hardly moving at all. So, I think while we let that charge, um, 
just gotta go get some tires on the car at uh, two. I don't really want to get too involved because I have to run over to get the tires on the car. So I think when they cut it here and uh, I got the battery done, uh, I got those squared away. That was one of my man priorities. So we'll see you on the next one. It will be the walnut table the battery box going in and starting to work on that sign for the front entrance. Drop me a comment down below and let me know what you want to see in the next video. We have a lot going on. I got my flag all squared away. We got our bracket here. America. We will see you on the next video. Keep them wet and tight. You know the deal. Shirts should be done this week. Shirtman I am. DM Instagram here on the tube of you if you want one. And let me know what size. We'll see you guys on the next one. And Coda, say bye. Say bye bye. High five. High five. Good boy. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you for the kiss. Thank you for the kiss. Bye-bye. <laughs>